Okay, are you guys ready? Can I redirect you? Yeah. Okay, so if you're intensely doing notes, continue to do so. Okay, Yamalat? Uh, I would hate to pull you away from that. But if you're not, will you look up here and consider page 107, 107? It's rigid motions number one, and it's called symmetry. It's a very easy lesson, I think. I hope you'll agree. I guess I shouldn't say that until you agree. But um, it goes back to a subject you may or may not have covered in prior years of math. But the idea of symmetry, what is symmetry? Everybody say symmetry. Symmetry. What does it mean to you in your mind? Both sides are like the same. Both sides are the same. How can you test symmetry? Um, by measuring. You can test by measuring. What's another way? All right, you can do this later because I know once I do this, you're going to want to do it too. Are you watching? Yeah. What am I doing? You're folding it. Okay. Um, what am I making? Uh, triangle. Okay. Not bad. That's what I'm making. I'm trying to make. Oh, you're trying to make a heart? And I can't use the scissors anymore in my life, so it's not going very well. Why not? I, I don't know. Something's wrong with my scissors or... Maybe they're left. I can't believe you said that because look what's on it. What? It says left. I'm using oh, a left. I knew it. How many of you are left handed? Me. Huh? I really need to. And you know there's left handed devices, but because yeah. I'm not, I don't know that as much. I have two children at home. Two children? I knew it. Okay, what did I make? Uh -huh. Right? Daniel, focus. What? So you could measure this side to see if it's symmetrical or you could literally just fold it over. If one side is directly on the other, it's symmetrical. Are you following this? Yeah. Okay, are you following the symmetry? Yeah. So there's a line of symmetry. The line is where you fold to get that to lay over the other side perfectly. So everybody say line of symmetry. Line, line of, of symmetry. symmetry. Right? So... There's line of symmetry. Here's one line. Here's the shape I made, right? I tried to do a heart. One line of symmetry. Here, I'm trying to draw like a, a Christmas tree. Yeah, I'm trying to draw a pine tree, right? And it's, it's, a, it's not a real pine tree. A real Is a real pine tree symmetrical, no. right? No, it's not, right? Um, Okay, let me ask you this. Is your body symmetrical? Yes. No. 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 Daniel. Yeah. Is your body symmetrical? How many yeah. say yes? yes? Raise your hand if you say yes. Yeah. Okay, some yeses. No. no. Because you have an ear here and an ear here. If you if you cut, well, if you cut the line of symmetry would down the middle and you folded one side of the other, the ear would line up with the ear. So that would be no, massive. Massive. Yeah. 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 But but is is this ear exactly the same as that ear? No. Right? No. Our bodies are infinitely unique in that every ear is different than every other ear, period. There's no other human on earth that has an ear exactly like your ear. Never was or never will be, right? And then how about your heart? Is your heart right in the middle? No, it's on your It's, it's somewhere over here off to the side a little bit, right? So if you cut this in half and fold it over, there's no heart over here. Right? So are our physical bodies symmetrical? It's kind of a, it's kind of, a, it depends. Sort of, right? In terms of, yeah, there's an ear possibly and an ear and a leg and a leg when you fold it over. But no way in terms of if you're trying to be exactly symmetrical, which is what in geometry you're trying to deal with. It's taking a real world and making it not so real anymore. This is not really a real shape, right? Your heart doesn't look like that. Yeah. It's a figurative heart that we know is a heart, but your heart looks something more like a, I don't know what, looks more like, a, I don't know what it is. Like it's a muscle, right? Um, what fires off our heart that makes it pump? Do you know what it is? Blood. Uh, it's pumping blood, but what is it that makes our heart... The heartbeat. What makes our heart beat? Your brain is controlling it. I'll give you a hint. You've seen the movies where somebody dies. What do they do? They take the paddles. They charge it up. And what do they say? <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, have a, definitely have an expert do this. It's clear. They say clear. Why do they say clear? Because if you touch them, you're going to get shocked. Because it's an electric shock they're putting through the body to restart the heart. Our body functions on electricity. 
Your heart is beating. Yeah, that's true. That's why they say clear. You don't want to touch the body or you'll get shocked by it. That's a little battery that char Can you believe this? I know. You guys are looking at me like I'm crazy right now. But I know you've all seen the movie. They're all like getting charged in the paddles. They put it on the body, right? And they go clear. And they go right in the whole body like surges because it's the electricity pulsing through the body. It restarts the heart. I no, it's a battery. You hear it like it's got the sound like. No, but like when they rub it. Yeah, I when they rub I think it. they're rubbing it to get. They put like a a gel on there to conduct the electricity. So they're rubbing the gel together to get a good mold, and they they you've got to. It's got to be on skin. It can't be on clothes, right? So it, it's got to be skin that goes on the skin, and that's what does this whole thing. A little bit off topic, but uh, you're talking about the heart and charge. It's electricity that's running our body, which is weird. Okay, and I'm really off topic. I'm oh. trying to think about how do I get back on the topic. Okay, two lines of symmetry. What shape is this? H. H, and you could fold the H this way and it lays over top of each other. So one line of symmetry here, and you could fold the H this way and it's over top of each other. Two lines of symmetry. Pretty simple so far. Yeah. Okay, go to three, a triangle. You could fold it this way, you can fold it that way, you can fold it the other. You okay with three lines of symmetry? Yeah. Four. A shape like this, right? You could fold, you could fold, you could, well, I don't know about this shape because it's a rectangle. I think it needs to be a square. I think I need to correct this because if I fold this corner over, it's gonna be like that. This needs to be a square here, and then so I'm correcting my notes. If this is a square, like this, and I'm going through the corners. Now one corner will line up with the other corner when I fold across that. And that's your test. You could literally make it and fold it to see what the lines of symmetry are. Five, this is a pentagon, and this gets a lot more complicated, but there's one, two, three, four, and five. That's your five lines of symmetry through a pentagon. And how many lines of symmetry in a circle? Zero. Close, and I say close, because it's kind of the opposite infinite. of zero. It's infinite, infinite because no matter. Because like, it could go either way, like all around. Yeah, I wonder if I could make one quickly, but I need a right hand scissors. But like, I'll just big brains like this. And I should definitely have you guys cut out shapes. all over each other because all the sides are equal. But like, what if you fold it like? I can't make a it circle. Uh, I need to do it more accurately to get it to work. I'll, I'll tell you what, we'll do an activity. We should do an activity. On. This should be something we should do an activity on. We'll make shapes and see if you can fold them, see if you can make a circle, and then see how many ways you can fold it across a line of symmetry. Anyway. Pretty simple lines of symmetry. The school G just gives you different shapes, ask you to fold them in your mind and see how many lines of symmetry you got. Pretty easy? Okay. Asymmetrical means like not, not symmetrical. Yeah, not symmetrical. Um, I like the idea of the human body though because that starts to test the reality of is anything really symmetrical? Anything. Is, is symmetry an actual, is there anything physical that's symmetrical? I don't, think so. I don't think so. Every single thing, no matter what shape, even if you tried to make it perfect, there would be, if you look close enough, there would be something that's not. So symmetry is back to geometry where it exists in your mind. It's like a line, right? Yeah. Is there a real thing as a line in, in life? There's nothing perfectly straight, nothing perfectly thin, nothing that goes in both directions forever. That exists up here for you. It's a concept, right? So, and I think that's where the real power of the human exists. It's not in the physical world. As amazing as this physical world is, it's very limiting, right? Your brain is what's unlimited up there, or your mind. I don't know the difference between the brain and the mind, do you? I feel like the mind is like, you know, your mental thoughts, and the okay. brain is like your, your, um, your physical like, thing that's running the body. Okay, got it. Yeah, I think of the brain as like your memory, like you know how your computer has a memory chip? And then your mind is like who you are. Yeah, exactly, the mind is who you are. You know if they cut us open, they can't find out where that is, that is us. Like you're unique, and don't take this the wrong way, but if, if you cut open Fanny, where is, where is Fanny inside of 
Fanny's body. There's no, we don't know where it is. Soul. It's a soul. a soul. We don't even know, I, I would propose, we don't even know what it is. Yeah. We just call it a soul because we have soul no. Is like, it's 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 like, you don't only like your music. It's like, you like the it. body is the physical, but like the real, real thing oh, is soul. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Like, that's yeah. the real thing. Yeah. Like, okay, turn that off. This is going to go. Hit stop on that. Did we have?